Hello, I'm Kiro Wokan, also known as Corvus Cornix, and welcome to Class Movie Rambles, where I talk about old movies that I found in my class while cleaning. This week's movie is Stumbelina, a magical story, and it's about 1 hour and 21 minutes long. And it starts with an intro credit sequence where a woman goes to see a witch about her uh, naughty daughter Mia. So she gets this book, which is about Thumbelina, and she reads it to her daughter Mia. And then, um, well... Mia reads the book herself and then she turns tiny and sometime later there are two frogs entering their house to look for a bride for their son which is actually kind of funny and it ends up with Mia getting chased and falling out a window and landing on a flower and then they gets, she gets into a sh- uh, like a chase with a rat and she ends up with a sugar fairy which helps her out throughout the journey and they uh, fight this evil witch uh, along the way and there, there's also this good witch that gives me a magical shoe so she can run pretty much anywhere, uh, but she is not supposed to use it for any selfish intentions. So sometime later, the sugar fairy and Mia encounter the frogs again, and uh, they dispose of the sugar fairy, the frogs I mean, and Mia gets captured. So while in captivity, Mia actually saves the frog boy and explains her quest, and they're on board and what's going on, so... The frog boy actually explained to his parents what's going on and they're not going to marry anymore, so that's good. And then um, there's out, they're out in the wilderness and the sugar fairy gets eaten by a, a jackal, which turns out he's working for the evil queen as well. And uh, somehow throughout the story, Mia gets another power to heal uh, other creatures as well. It's like an amulet. And then Mia ends up in a, in a house with a small mouse and she eats a lot and apparently the frog boy is there and they go out to save a little swallow uh, she uses her newly found powers to actually heal the swallow and then they hitch a, tr- a ride to the final de- destination which is this crystal palace and of course they get hunted down by the hunchmen and uh, that leads into them falling into a river and of course the sugar fairy somehow survives this I don't know how he always does a stupid thing and then he comes back somehow he regenerates or something because he's made of sugar he can do that I guess so um, they end up in a river and uh, they go down the stream and uh, Mia gets invited to a hobbit party because hobbits is a thing in this universe as well so then the evil witch does her thing and the henchman attacks and it, the henchman is destroyed by the shadow prince which is, which is the shadow form of the light prince somehow it's it's very convoluted this v- movie is very it, it, was, it is if someone was on acid or something when they made this I guess so yeah so the evil witch does her thing and uh, Mia uses her inner powers to save the day and she returns home and it turns out that this movie was all just a dream. Uh, a really big cop out. So what did I think about this movie? It's either hit or miss with these old movies and I picked it up for literally nothing at the flea market so I looked at the cover and I was like this is very anime-esque and uh, the thing about older animes is that either they are really high quality or really low and in this case it was really low and the story was kind of... Uh, like if someone had taken some heavy drugs and was like, let's make, make a cartoon and make it awesome. And it's like, um, it's not really awesome. <laughs> some of the characters are actually funny and some of the the dubbing to Swedish is actually kind of fun, but I wouldn't recommend this movie. And uh, ah, it's one of those things. It was a fun mo- movie to review, at least. Let's say that. So anyway, thanks for listening and for watching and take care.